prayer. Her question is, can I read Quran for the dead? Again, this is a very common question. And this is an issue where the, there is a difference of opinion. But the overwhelming opinion and the vast majority of the scholars are of that since reading the Quran and granting the thawab is a matter which should be tawqifi. Tawqifi, yani we have nothing to do with it because it was prescribed by Allah, transmitted to Prophet Muhammad by Jibreel salam, and he transmitted to us, do this or do that, do not do this or stop doing that. Like exactly the number of rak'ahs, like how to call adhan, like when to fasten, when to break, or that's called tawqifi. Okay. It has not been witnessed that the Prophet وسلم, or even if his companions have done so, read the Quran for others. But what has been confirmed 100% to benefit the dead person after his or her death, number one and the foremost is dua, is to pray for them. You can as well give in a charity and grant the reward to the dead person. You can as well perform Hajj or Umrah on behalf of a dead person, especially if he or she did not do it, whether from his wealth or somebody else's wealth or as a gift from you. You can as well settle his debt, pay off his loan after his death. Uh, you can as well make up the fasting of a person who died before making up a fasting which is due on him. We have references to all of that. But those who said it is allowed to read Quran and give a thawab to the dead person said, if the person is allowed to give out of his cash and grant the reward to another, or go for Hajj or Umrah, then by analogy. I like to be in the safe side. I like to read Quran for myself. Then after I read the Quran, say, Oh Allah, bless my grandfather. Oh Allah, have mercy on my uncle. Oh Allah, have mercy on my grandmothers and enter them to paradise. But the word of reading the Quran is for me. And because of the virtues of reading the Quran, the dua will be answered.